Good morning! Welcome to Science for Quarter 2, Week 1, Module 8, entitled The Foundation of the Human Body, Major Body Organs. In Module 8, you are going to describe the functions of the main organs of the human body. Therefore, our objectives in Module 8 are 1. Describe the structure of the major internal organs of the human body. Specifically, letter A, bones, joints, and muscle. Letter B, stomach and intestine. Letter C, kidneys. Letter D, heart and lung. And letter E, brain. Our second objective in module 8 is communicate that the major organs work together to make the body function properly. Class, have you wondered why we can walk, run, or move our mouth when we are chewing food? Here it is. Bones are the framework of the body. It gives shape and support, allowing us to stand up straight and help us to move. Also, it protects our body organs. The skull helps to protect the brain. The backbones or the spinal column protect the spinal cord. The rib cage protect the heart and lungs. The pelvic bones protect the lower organs of the body. And now, let's proceed to joints. What is a joint? Joints, the point where the two bones meet. They make the skeleton flexible. Without the joints, movement would be impossible. Muscles. It allows us to move by contracting. The power to move the bones come from the muscle. Muscles enable our body to move. 
they also give shape and forms to our body and protect delicate organs. Muscles are voluntary and involuntary. It is the one responsible for circulation, respiration, digestion, urination, organ protection, temperature regulation, stability, posture, and mobility. Another major organ in the body is stomach. Stomach is a hollow muscular J-shaped organ in the abdomen. It secretes acid and enzymes that digest food. Squeezes and kneads food and drenches it in gastric juices. It makes mixture of food and gastric juices called chyme. Next major organ is small and large intestines. Small intestine. Small intestine aids in absorption of the nutrients. It is a narrow corrugated tube that is about 7 meters and 2.5 meters in diameter long. It digests food, which can be absorbed by the body. It secretes digestive enzymes and digestion of carbohydrate, fat, and protein. Large intestine is about 1.5 meters long and 5 centimeters in diameter. It absorbs water from undigested food. It secretes mucus and holds the undigested food for a while and then excrete it as feces known as bowels. Next is kidneys. Kidneys are two bean-shaped, paired organs which are about 4 to 5 inches long and 2 to 3 inches wide, weighing 150 grams. They help the body pass waste as urine. They also help filter blood before sending it back to the heart. Each kidney has a very complex structure and function. They have two important functions, namely to flush out harmful and toxic waste products and to maintain balance of water, fluids, minerals, and chemicals. Example, electrolytes such as sodium, and potassium. The major metabolic waste produced by our body are filtered by kidneys in the blood, like salt, water, and nitrogenous waste. Let's proceed to heart and lungs. Heart is a hollow muscular organ located between the lungs and it is protected by the rib cage. It is about the size of your fist and located in the middle of chest cavity. The beating of the heart is due to contraction of your heart muscles. The cardiac muscles contract involuntarily. The word cardiac refers to the heart. This means 
its contractions cannot be controlled by your will it continues to pump blood as long as the person lives it pumps blood even you are sleeping the contraction continues allowing the heart to receive oxygen from the lungs and continues to contract and pump blood to the rest of the body parts including the lungs through blood vessels lungs the lungs filter the oxygen that enters the body because it contains a filtering structure to ensure that the heart receives clean oxygen from lungs. The carbon dioxide as a waste material of the body is removed from the body through the lungs. The heart and lungs support each other to allow distribution of nutrients and oxygen to all parts and the removal of carbon dioxide as a waste product in the body. And now, let's have the brain. The human brain is a highly complex organ. It's found in the head and is protected by the skull. Soft tissues called meninges and a fusion of fluid. It weighs about 1.5 kilograms and contains billions of neurons. The function of the brain number one it controls the voluntary activities of the body like thinking solving problems and memorizing details and decision making number two it controls the muscle movement of our body like walking and writing number three it coordinates muscular actions. Number four, it is responsible for man's ability to learn habits and develop skills. Number five, it helps maintain a person's sense of balance. Number six, it connects the brain to the spinal cord. Number seven, it controls the involuntary muscles of the body and coordinates functions like beating of the heart and breathing.